spicy. Yeah. Too hot. Okay. It's fun. But it's delicious. It's oh. a kimas. How can it be delicious when it's so spicy? Hey, what's up guys? I'm right now in Lot 10. Amazing place that I just found. Um, you probably have been before and you probably think that oh, it's probably not a food court. No, it's not the same as what you think. Um, if you're familiar with the Malaysian's uh, food court, this is one special one for me, especially that if you like Japanese food, you have the whole floor dedicated all just for Japanese jewelry, Japanese cuisine. Um, so this is during COVID time, um, surprisingly it's still open and it creates not many people as usual. Imagine there is normal and this, this is a new normal. Of course you have to wear a mask. My mask is just here. have to wear a mask. Um, yes, yeah, so amazing place I would say. It's not your ordinary food court in shopping mall. Um, this is a very special, dedicated uh, Japanese restaurant, yeah. Japanese uh, stalls selling from um, sushi, uh, ramen, uh, even to izakaya kind of a cuisine. Um, so if you've been to Japan, I know what you mean. Um, so there are special dishes that you can get here in just one floor. And for those, for those who's looking for halal, yes, there is halal options. Um, so let me just show you a couple of stalls. It's really, really quiet. I'm not sure why it's quiet, but the quality of stand of the food is really amazing. It's like uh, your typical hotel restaurant, hotel cafe uh, setup. You can see it anywhere, but it really depends what song you're going to be at. Uh, you can see a couple of uh, stalls selling different stuff like udon, uh, bento box. <laughs> The invitations. Um, the menu is really good price, uh, so it's not bloody expensive. And I'm actually dining in one of the stalls uh, that really, really good for ramen. I read the review, so I decided to go for a try. And I did order a couple of uh, tempuras, but this particular shop called Kagura. So Kagura offers uh, halal ramen, chicken ramen, if you like it, I think it's really, really going to be special. So we're going to have it. So guess where I am now? I'm actually with Gerard Niza and our celebrity guest, Opa Kaishwan. So what we having? Burger? Japanese burger. Japanese burger. Beef burger. What do you have, uh, Niza? Chicken burger, chicken burger, beef burger. So, cheap, I mean, beef burger and chicken burger, it's come with halal options. So, it's really good deal. Um, and the chef is actually Japanese. And Kaishan is having the gyoza, tempura, and vegetable tempura. So, guys, I'm going to eat first. See you later. Guys, let's check out this uh, ramen that I've just ordered. So, as per review, saying that one of the best in uh, KL. So, it's a chicken ramen broth. Um, I've just ordered the spicy ramen. It seems like really spicy. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell Japanese. It's very Malaysian. <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, so any Nihonjin, any Japanese uh, there who have tried your own Japanese ramen, <laughs> let us know. Give it a try. So I'm not sure. Is this? Um, Malaysian modified version to suit the uh, palette here, but it smells really pungent. But it looks good, so we're gonna give it a try. I'm going to try.
is spicy, yeah. Too hot. Yeah. It's hot. But it's delicious. It's a How can it be delicious when it's so spicy? 